Hey, how's it going everybody? Drew Creel here. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make five amazing clean guitar tones with your Yamaha THR2 series. Stick around because you're not gonna wanna miss this. This video is brought to you by TrueFire, the best place on the internet for high-level instructional guitar video content. Browse through literally hundreds of fantastic guitar courses by some of the biggest names in the guitar world. No matter what style of guitar playing you're interested in, you're sure to find a high-quality video course at TrueFire that suits your needs. My personal two favorite courses are Tim Miller's Creative Arpeggio Design and Pat Martino's nature of guitar. I learned a ton of valuable information from those two courses, and I'm certain that you'll find something here at TrueFire that will launch your guitar playing to the next level. Click the link in the description below for a discount on your first TrueFire video course. Now let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so here we are with my Yamaha THR30 wireless. Um, there are two other amps that are just like this that are made by Yamaha. The first one is just called the THR102. It doesn't have the wireless option or the rechargeable battery, so it's quite a bit lighter. Um, and then there's the, the wireless battery-powered version of that amp, which is a little smaller than this one, and it's only 10 watts. Um, but this is the 30-watt version, and it's kind of the it's kind of the big boy. It's got the... Um, the two left and right outputs on the back, but if your amp looks like this everything I'm about to show you in this video is going to apply so there's a couple different ways to Do deep editing on these amps the first way is to use your cell phone and download the THR Control app or you can just use an iPad if you'd prefer to like to, to use that I like to use the iPad a lot better because everything is bigger um, you can rotate the screen and see all of the controls all at once. So I definitely like the iPad way of editing. Now there's a third way of editing with, on your THR, and that is just to plug in your THR to your computer using the USB port on the back. So that's the way that I'm actually going to be showing you how to edit in this video, but it all works the same. So what you're going to want to do first is download the app on your desktop computer, your Mac computer, your phone, your iPad, and then we can get started. So I'll see you at my computer desk here in a second where we're gonna do all of the tone editing on this amp. All right, you guys, here we are at my desk where we're gonna do some tone shaping today. And really the point of this video is just to kind of inspire you a little bit and give you some fresh ideas around how to make some really great sounding clean guitar tones with your Yamaha THR. This amp can do a ton of different sounds. I just wanted to kind of give you my perspective on how to make some cool clean sounds with this amp that will hopefully inspire your practice routine and get you playing some, some great sounding guitar. So with that out of the way, let's get into making some tones with the THR. So the first tone that I wanna make is just a zero breakup guitar tone that's kind of modern sounding, has a nice uh, amount of bass and treble, and will just make your chords sound crystal clear. Um, today I'm using a uh, Telecaster here. This is a Squire Telecaster. It's like a $450 guitar. Really great sounding guitar for the money, and I just I figured I would use this guitar because probably closer to what most people are playing, whether you've got a Strat or a Tele. Later on, I'll grab my Kiesel guitar, and we'll we'll check out what some of these sound like with humbuckers. But for now, what we're going to do is use this Telecaster. So what I'm going to do is just turn off all of these effects and just kind of show you what I have here um, with this first tone, and I'm in the classic uh, setting. Here. So um, here's what the amp sounds like. Just a really balanced, clean sound. And of course, you can go in and start messing around with these different speaker cabinets. I think the American cabinet is supposed to be like a Fender, like a Jensen speaker or... Uh, I guess they, you know, they use Jensen's and JBL's and Fender's. I'm no amp expert here, but 
Um, these all sound pretty cool. That one obviously sounds a little bit darker. Um, here's the the 410, which would be like a like a like a Fender um, super, not a super bassman. Yeah, maybe a super bassman. Yeah, and then California one seems to be the most balanced sounding to me. So I'm gonna stick with that, and then from there can actually drive that sound a little bit harder or add some sustain with the compressor. So that's what's cool about the using the app or um, plugging it into your PC is you can then um, control this this compressor, the, the noise gate, some of these other features, right? Okay, and I really like the way that sounds. It kind of evens things out, levels things out with the compression. Okay, from there you can add a gate, you know. It's pretty quiet as it is with, so, so you know, take the gate or leave it, but, but it's there. Um, and then here's a chorus. It's kind of like barely on right now. I like a nice slow chorus. I'm not a big fan of the C6 stuff. Right, so just a little bit of that. Um. Weird. If it, it seems like when you turn the speed up. Oh yeah, I guess it is faster. Yeah, slow that baby down. All right, let's just turn the depth down. a nice modern sounding uh, tone we're making here. Okay. Then we're going to add some echo to that. Some nice warm echo. They've got digital on here as well. You like that? Too much treble. It just sounds more crystal clear and perfect. So I'm going to go back to the tape echo. I actually much prefer that. Yeah, and then turn that treble up. Uh, we'll turn the mix. It's got a nice little like warble in there. You can slow it down a little bit, or s speed it up rather. And then you've got tap tempo here, and feedback. And for this one, since we're going for like a hi-fi, like modern sound, we're gonna. Um, we're going to use a plate reverb. So let's try that. cool sounds so that's a clean tone that i like and you can of course mess with the effects and tweak those to your to your liking but i think the main thing here is just start with that classic setting that's really what made the thr so um so well liked among guitar players is is this classic clean stuff here and i really like that california 112 you can of course play with all of these other cabinets i think the 412s are kind of more geared towards uh high gain tones which this amp does that very well but that's not what this video is about right so um so that's the first tone and then to save your tone you just click these little guitars over here and then boom it's saved okay so let's move on to tone number two okay so for tone number two we're gonna make a blues guitar sound for that i like to use this uh this boutique setting on here so it'll, it'll make your your lights on your thr blue and it sounds like this. So when I think of boutique amps, I think of like maybe like a Morgan or a Matchless or a Magnetone. Like those are kind of some of the original uh, boutique amps. Or I, I guess like Park would fall into that category. Park amplification. 
Okay, and then you can click on uh, here and mess with the cabinets again. It's a much more straight ahead focused sound. It doesn't have that big bass bottom and high treble. Yeah, the, the American and the American 410, they really add a nice uh, focused, like crisp top end to the. We're going to get to the blue stuff here really soon. Um, okay, and then you've got a compressor on here. I kind of think it just kind of sound worse when you have that compressor on. Uh, you can turn the noise gate on if you want to crank the gain a little bit. It'll kind of help clean up uh, the gain for you. Um, I'm not going to use any modulation effects on here, but I think if you were to use a modulation effect with this sound, uh, you'd want to use like tremolo and get that nice like You know, maybe that, that kind of country sort of twang oh, Guitar playing is pretty rough in this video my apologies okay but let's just leave that off for now and this would be a great tone to get a little slap back echo going so so i've got the tape echo on again and the feedback fairly low you can always lower it uh so it's so it's quick and then i've got the time really you know so it's like a So really cool uh, slapback sounds that you can do with here. You can, uh, let's try the middle position on this uh, Telecaster. sounds man and then add some uh some spring reverb to that and i think you've got a really nice sort of fendery boutique sounding clean tone That spank in there. Really cool tones um, in this boutique section. And, and of course, you've got all of these other uh, higher gain sounds that you can dig into, um, which we may touch on that a little bit later. But again, I want to give you some great clean tones. So let's go ahead and save that into slot number two and move on to our next guitar tone. All right, you guys. So for this third clean tone, I wanted to make something that was really modern. And so I grabbed my uh, Kiesel guitar. It's the Kiesel Vader VM8. It's been featured in pretty much all of my other guitar videos, but it's a great sounding guitar, very versatile. Not only does it have humbuckers, but you can split the coils. So the second position, I'm going to check that out a little bit later here, and you'll, you'll see that um, it's got a really cool tone. And then you can, of course, uh, in the fourth position, split this front coil. So we'll kind of play around with that stuff on this next guitar tone. So for this next one, I'm going to go to this modern uh, setting and I'm, I'm going to turn everything off and make sure I'm down on clean here. Uh, just kind of get everything maybe around 50% here or 12 o'clock, whatever, however you want to think of it. And let's check what this modern sounds like. And I'm on a... Really great guitar tone, and I'm using the, the bridge humbucker right now for, for this one. So let's add a little bit more heat to that, because I know we're going to want to split the coil a little bit. 
which will reduce the output slightly. Really cool for, for modern guitar sounds. Now let's, uh, let's then add a little bit of bass. I like some extra bass on my modern guitar tone. I'll, I'll crank the treble down a little bit and maybe drop the mids just a hair, so. Really articulate uh, sounds going on here. There's that fourth position. Here's the second position. Add some echo to that. Longer, more feedback. Into a, just a beautiful guitar tone. But let's turn that stuff off for just momentarily and see if we can get a different. Uh, different speaker cabinet on the scene here um 4x12 has got a lot of bass in there fuel eddie's cabinet um all second position by the way uh, it's got some frequencies I don't like that's pretty nice man I actually really like the way um, this modern 412 sounds on this tone. Cool. All right. Well, let's add a little bit of compression to that. Turn that level down a little bit. middle position, so both humbuckers. Man, I want to like the compressor on this tone, but I just died. Definitely put the gate on there. Turn that chorus down a little bit. definition is kind of getting lost with uh, with that chorus on there. Let's just barely here I have that on. I wish I, I wish I could play guitar better today. So for this one, we're going to use that that hall reverb and make it a little darker sounding, add a little more pre-delay, longer decay.
All right, I think we've got a really cool sounding modern guitar tone. So let's label this one um, modern clean and we'll save it in uh, preset three. Okay, so there we go. There's our third clean tone. Really quick, let's just compare these, these three tones together. second position okay let's go back to the the blues uh, clean <laughs> Obviously, that doesn't really work with this uh, particular guitar. That's kind of made for Telecaster guitar playing. Um, let's go to that super clean, that first one. Of course, these pickups are so are super hot, so I'm going to dial them back a little bit. That's pretty nice. That's our modern clean. All right, let's move on to yet another awesome clean tone. Okay, so for this fourth clean tone, what I wanna do is share with you what has been my primary practice guitar tone with the Yamaha THR. I've had this amp for like close to two years now. One of my favorite sounds that this, that this amp makes is on the crunch setting. So we'll go to our fourth preset and we're actually gonna go classic. We'll turn all this other stuff off and um, we're gonna we're gonna go classic and then crunch right here and we're gonna mess around with with some of these tones and I, I, I really love this uh, guitar tone for For like second position uh, guitar playing if you have a, a humbucker in the bridge position that you can split And then you can add a little compression to that to kind of push it even harder that's where this uh, this tone really shines is um, it's a nice like hot clean that's that's not like overly distorted um, but that's kind of my little secret if I could give you one tone secret uh, with your THR it's classic crunch crank the gain a little bit this boutique speaker cabinet's cool but we'll, we'll check out a couple other ones and then use that compressor and then you can add the effects to your liking but for now let's let's just i'm going to play this this sort of uh, sweep arpeggio Okay, and I just love how that second position sounds. So let's see if these other cabinets don't sound any better than. It's pretty cool. Digging that. Let's try a single. Right, so you know, shreddage, all that's good stuff. Nope, not digging that. The boutique. I think the boutique one is what I'm uh, most uh, familiar with. Let's try the mods cab. Too much bass. Um, of course I can turn the bass down. Just sounds unnatural with this particular. Yeah, I'm I'm really digging that uh, that boutique. Too. That's 
That's cool. All right, so let's add just barely any chorus at all to that. Um, just to give it a nice little shimmer on. A little bit of delay on there. Something that's not going to run into our notes, so I'll turn the treble down a little bit. Um, of course, you can, you know, you can tap tempo. Actually, the tuner button on the THR is your tap button, so you can actually tap right on top of the THR. Uh, just another one of my fabulous, fabulous secrets uh, for you guys out there. Um, let's try the plate reverb. It's getting a little too spacey for me, and I want it to be a little bit more focused than that. And you notice how that, that noise gate quickly cleaned up that, that extra sound that's happening. So that's, um, we're just going to call that the, the shred riffs special. That's my Instagram name. So make sure you subscribe to shred riffs on Instagram, saving that in preset four. That's my favorite tone that, that I think I've ever made with the Yamaha THR. So let's move on to the fifth and final tone and then we'll wrap this baby up. All right, guys, so for this last tone, it's really just going to be a variation on the classic crunch uh, sound that I just made for preset number four. So what we're going to do is um, save this one to preset five, and then we'll go over here, and we're going to call this Shred Roof Special 2, okay? And what I would suggest that you do is sort of tailor this, this tone to your liking. Maybe try a different effect um, or, or something. But uh, let's, let's see what the modern uh, version of, of this particular tone sounds like. There's like less gain than with the classic on that one. Still sounds awesome though. I love that. I'm gonna turn the gain all the way up. Turn that noise gate on. <laughs> Dial in the amount of uh, gain that you want on this now really like this this crunch setting for clean stuff because you can just dial the gain back a little bit and sort of uh sort of hone in the, the tone and then use your volume knob on to kind of clean up your sound um so that's what i would do with that there's boutique as well let's let's try that be able to do that uh, just kind of roll the volume knob back let's try a phaser obviously that's absolutely absurdly ridiculous sounding um, there really should be depth and speed not feedback and speed call me crazy but yeah it's just way too fast Yeah, I want it super slow. That's a cool uh, tone, if you ask me. And that cabinet just sounds a little too honky for me. That's 
pretty nice. reverb up a little bit. that sounds great thank you so much for watching my video on how to make five amazing clean tones with your yamaha thr 2 series amplifier i really enjoyed putting this together this was fun i feel like i created a, a few new tones that i've never made before and hopefully you got some fresh ideas on you know how to use this amp a little bit better just my perspective on how to make a delicious sounding clean guitar tone um, if you could just please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow my channel and I would love for you to be notified every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day wherever you're at. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.